Gernison and today's pop-up tutorial is going to feature Sizzix Pop and Cuts. Now with Pop and Cuts you always start with your base A2 card kit. It comes with your circle label but for this particular card I wanted just a little bit bigger pop-up area so I'm going to switch to the label insert. So this label is just a little bit bigger and squarer and then when you get this insert it'll just fit right down into your Pop and Cuts base and then you can change out the pop-up design. Now for accessories, I'm going to go with my two new Sizzlitz strips. One is the flag pole, which I'm going to turn into a telephone pole, and then my birds on a wire to perch on top. So let's get started. With any Pop and Cuts insert, it's the tick marks to let you know it's centered. Look for the long fold to know which end is going to be at the top of the card so you can orient your paper correctly. Use extended cutting pads with your Big Shot machine. When you fold and pop and cut, I think it's easiest to do the long fold across the back. That brings your shelf forward. Wherever your shelf touches the image, pinch. Wherever it touches the card, fold forward. By using a scrap of paper over just the center of the pop and cuts area, and then just using my scissors to isolate it out, I'll have a solid piece that I can stamp on. Pop and Cuts cuts my backing card as well with no insert in the die. Again, my extended cutting pads. I'll fold my backing card in half, but for this particular card I'd like to actually keep a stripe showing of the back of that pattern paper because I like it. So I'll take an inch and a half off the end of my backing card and keep those rounded ends and then take a little chunk out of the middle. Now all I need is a tape runner to add my backing card around the pop and cuts insert. I just need to make sure I avoid my pop-up area. Then I can add those little rounded areas to the ends. This stamp makes the perfect greeting. I'm going to use a slot punch to add a little slot in a piece of cardstock that I will then attach to the shelf behind my pop-up. This is how I will suspend my pole. The nice thing about the flag pole is that the pole itself is a triple, so it is reinforced. For this little telephone pole, I'll just cut the edges of my top, get it in the center section, and then fold both those sections over each other so I get a reinforced pole. And then I'm just going to get creative with fashioning a telephone pole out of the pieces. I'll need to fold over a little foot at the bottom of the pole and then I'll just use a couple little glue dots on the base of that foot. The pole goes through the little slot and that foot just attaches to the bottom of the card. And you'll see now how that operates. Pop and cuts are so easy you can do it with a dog on your lap. Add wings from one bird strip to the other bird strip. Once I finished my birds with wings, a little ink and some rhinestone eyeballs, I just added them throughout the card. Couple stamped sentiments and I was done. Thanks for watching.